Hello guys, welcome back to our series on Bluetooth Low Energy. This is second part of lecture one, and here we will understand the remaining layers of BLE stack and also understand about the BLE roles. So let's. The BLE protocol stack from physical layer up to security manager protocol layer is being explained in part one. I will share the link in the description. Please check it out before starting with the most important layers of Bluetooth protocol stack that is GAT and GAP. So the next is generic access profile. The generic access profile dictates how device interact with each other at lower level outside of actual protocol stack. In simple terms, it is used for configuring a Bluetooth device. For ESP32, you can use GAP library to configure your Bluetooth device. So the purpose of this profile is to configure Bluetooth parameters as described by application layer. So what configurations can be done? Let us understand in short. Advertising data content configuration. This sets what data or information you want to send in the advertising packet that you will be sending if you configure your BLE device as a advertiser. Second is advertising parameter configuration. This will be your actual advertising configuration that what will be the advertising interval how after how many seconds you want to send a advertising packet on what channel or all channel you want to send the advertising packet likewise. Third is scan parameters configuration. Like if you want to set your BLE device as a scanner, then what will be the scan type? How for how much interval it should scan? Likewise, configurations can be done. Next is security configuration. Security configurations include authentication request, I/O capability, pass key, out of bond, etc. Next is device connection configuration. So when the device is connected, we can configure connection interval, slave latency, supervision time, and also gap is responsible for defining the BLE name. So when you scan a device, you will you can see a name. That name is also set by the gap. We will see all these gap configuration and understand in depth when we start our coding sessions and configure BLE. GAT defines how data can be transferred between two connected BLE devices. GAT acts as a data abstraction model which is built on top of the attribute protocol. So let's first understand the attribute protocol. It is a simple client-server stateless protocol based on attribute presented by a BLE device. Let us understand client-server relationship in an example here. In our laptop browser, suppose we type google.com and hit enter. So we want a Google search page to be open. So this request is sent to the Google server. If the request is correct, the Google server will respond and a Google search page will be displayed on your laptop browser. So here the device that is having a data is your Google server. You are requesting for the data and it is in response. He is sending the data to you. So Google server will be your server and your laptop browser will be your client. Similar client server relationship is in Bluetooth as well. Let's understand client and server in BLE with an example. Here we have a temperature sensor that is connected to ESP32 device. Let's consider we have an attribute that is temperature measurement in degree Celsius. Now the ESP32 device will start advertising. The smartphone will scan and send connection request and the connection will be established over BLE between the client and the server. So the client that is the smartphone does not knows about what attributes are there in the server. So the client performs service discovery and the server shares its attribute during service discovery with the client. Now the client can send read write request as per the permission defined to the attribute to read the temperature. So this is a simple example of client and server. We will see practically how to code this in our upcoming sessions. So what is an attribute in an attribute protocol? Attribute is a term on how a data is organized and stored on server so it can be shared with the client on request. So as we know server contains the data and the client request for the data. Right. Each attribute contains a handle, a universal unique identifier UUID, a value and a set of permissions. A handle is a 16-bit value assigned to each attribute. It can be considered as an address of that attribute. UUID is a numeric identity that is unique for each attribute. 
permission determine whether an attribute can be read or written these permissions are defined by the server values are the byte arrays that contains the actual attribute value for example if a server wants to store a temperature sensor value temperature value in degree celsius will be stored in the attributes value section the generic attribute profile defines how attributes may represent higher level constructs known as service characteristics and descriptors so we know that attribute is a term used to organize data in the attribute protocol layer stack but the same attribute is organized in the get layer in the form of service characteristics and descriptors so as get is the immediate next layer to the application we will be using service characteristics and descriptors to store and maintain the data now for an example let's consider that a heart rate sensor is connected to the esp32 so the heart rate sensor it is a service the characteristics here will be heart rate sensor measured in bits per second second can be body sensor location so where is the sensor placed in your body third can be the model number of the heart rate sensor so the characteristic basically gives the information about the service like if the service is temperature sensor the characteristics can be temperature sensor measured in degree celsius second character can be temperature sensor measured in degree fahrenheit couple of things to remember is that these attributes are always located on the server and accessed by the client second the get only comes into play after a connection has been established between the two bli devices the capabilities of get are broadcast read write without response write notify indicate authenticate and extended properties suppose a server sends a read command to the client to read the heart rate measurements the client will response with the heart rate measurement to the server we will practically see all these capabilities and how the data exchange work using get and will also snip data over the air in coding session bli role so majorly gap get and link layer defines bli role these are not bli configurations these are the terms defined as you configure your bli device for example if you configure a device that only advertises and not connects then its gap role will be a broadcaster so there are four gap roles broadcaster observer peripheral and central two get roles are there server and client which we have already covered and four link layer roles that is advertiser scanner master and slave advertiser sends advertising packets scanner scans for those advertising packets master is a device that initiates a connection and slave is a device that accepts a connections these roles can be logically grouped into two parts advertiser and scanner when not in active connections and master and slave when it is connected a master can connect to multiple slaves and a slave can connect to multiple masters so typically devices such as smartphones or tablets are tend to act as a master while simpler and memory constrained devices such as stand alone sensors esp32s or any controller usually adopt the slave role now let us understand four gap roles first is broadcaster a broadcaster is a device that sends non connectable advertising packets periodically typically this is used to broadcast some data from a service to other device that happen to be in a observer role a broadcast must have a transmitter but not necessarily a receiver because it only needs to transmit the data so if your use case is for broadcaster then you can reduce the cost by eliminating the receiver similarly an observer is a device that scans for the broadcasters and reports the information to an application an observer must have a receiver it can also optionally have a transmitter so an observer is opposite to a broadcaster broadcaster sends the data and doesn't receive observer receives the data and doesn't sends anything so peripheral is a device that advertises by using connectable advertising packets so it is similar to a broadcaster but it sends connectable advertising packets so both transmitter and receiver are needed in this case bli peripheral can be connected to multiple central devices at a time so example of peripherals can be your airpods earbuds our esp32 module also comes in this category as a peripheral has limited memory processing power battery as compared to the central device a central is a device that initiates connection to the peripheral it is similar to an observer but it can send connection request so just like a peripheral a central needs to have both a transmitter and receiver in that case a central has 
more memory processing power battery as compared to the peripheral device a central device can connect to many other peripheral devices for example can be mobile phones your uh, beagle bone and raspberry pi processor can also be part of central so these are ble roles device will play a role as per its configurations so you will come across these terms very often when you learn ble for get role we are already understood the server and client relationship let us take an example and understand the ble role at different level layers so the get role for esp32 here will be server as it has sensor data with it that it will expose to the smartphone so the get role for the smartphone will be client similarly gap role for the esp32 device will be peripheral as it will be advertising and connectable and will have limited memory and processing power the gap role for smartphone will be central as it will initiate a connection and it has more memory and processing power than the peripheral the link layer role will be slave for esp32 device as it will accept the connection request and the link layer role will be master for smartphone as it will initiate a connection request if you find this video helpful do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you